Hello everybody, it's Jungle Jen here at the Roosevelt Park Zoo. It is a beautiful day. It is exactly the day that we were hoping for when we scheduled Wild Spirits for a March date. Say <laughs> mm, la vie. Uh, the Wild Spirits event was supposed to happen tonight, it has been canceled. We had these cool ice shot glasses that we've been making by hand. We partner with Broadway Liquor and they bring in just the coolest mixed drinks they can come up with. We have little shots for tasting and that's all gone. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. Part of Wild Spirits okay, tonight, to part of the adventure was supposed to be a tour through the Amur Tiger River Valley People Path. Uh, it's not open to the public just yet and so we wanted to show that off in this at this event um since we won't be hosting an event tonight i'd like to show it off with you come with me on a walk through the Amur tiger river valley we're going to start on the day room side where miss Kurpinka is taking her afternoon nap she turned 20 this week so we let her take as many naps as she would like we've just completed this pergola uh we still have some finishing touches to do but it's built it's a nice little shady spot for everyone to just come and visit with Krupinka. And from the day room side, we have these two features here. This is yard three. Tape will go away. You can get right up on the other side of the glass with those tigers. The second feature here under this day room pergola, we're really excited about. Have you ever played tug of war? with a tiger. It'll be keeper led. Our keeper will always be here. They'll lace a rope through this reinforced tube here so that the tiger can have one half and we could have a whole zoo camp class back here. It'll be a great opportunity to really feel the strength of a tiger. Where else are you going to feel that when you're not in danger? This is also a really good spot to get a good look at this mesh. This is a woven wire mesh. It's stronger than traditional chain link and it also tends to disappear to the eye a little better than chain link does. Check this out. We woke up our girl. Hi, Gripika. We learned last time she is not a fan of this camera. She's going to hiss at us. <laughs> and you'll see on her window, uh, that was intentional. The keepers gave her a little extra enrichment on the window. She'd come up to the window and lick at the window to get that meat off. Um, so it'd be a good experience for someone at that height as well. So now from the day room and Kropinka's close watch there. From the day room, we go to yard three. Now one thing you'll notice is these big old doors here. For anyone who has helped us volunteer in the springtime in the old cat habitat, you may remember uh, having to duck through, um, t you know, tiger sized doors uh, to pull a tree stump in. Um, we took that into consideration in this design so that you don't have to do that ducking anymore. Now we have people-sized doors. Now we're getting to the part of the walk that is still closed to the public. We'll have it open this spring yet, but there are still a few um, changes that need to be done. But open up that gate and it opens up to this wonderful people pathway. This is our first immersive style exhibit. This is a modern zoological practice this is their home first, we're the visitors. So let's talk about our tigers. Our tigers are Amur tigers. They are from the Amur River Valley, which lies right on the border between Russia and China. So they are cold weather adapted animals. They like the cold, but they are also solitary animals. Now it can be straightforward, three yards, three tigers, or with these catwalks, we can mix it up a little bit. Say it's a really hot day, 90 degrees. Kropinka is not comfortable with a 90 degree day. She's 20 years old. She just doesn't care for it anymore. So she could stay inside in that air conditioned day room so that say Victor could have access to both yards two and three. Yard three on this side and yard two on this side come together in this amphitheater of sorts. It's the people pathway. This is where we came from. The most unusual and prominent of this amphitheater area is of course the overhead catwalk. Not many zoos have overhead catwalks so we're very proud of this aspect of our design. Tigers are predators. They want to be above you. So while this is a very neat factor for humans, it serves a very real natural adaptation purpose for our tigers. If we had three tigers in three yards, the way we keep them separate are these two doors right here in the center. You see those? Our keepers can open that up. 
pull the strings, pull the levers, and that white block would go up. That would keep Victor over here in yard three or whoever is in whichever yard. That's kind of the beauty of this habitat. They can have a new adventure each day. All right, we're going to continue on our walk. Now we'll be walking around yard two and toward yard one. Yard one is where you've seen Zoya spend a lot of her time. One of the biggest uh, threats against the Amur tiger is deforestation. It's uh, habitat destruction. They lose their prey, they lose their hunting grounds, um, the closer the humans encroach on them. So we'll have some signage here that will define that with this stump that was left over. So right here you have another glass viewing space. This one gives you a good look into yard two. All right, we'll continue our walk here. It's yard two to your right yard three to your left. It's a good spot too. If you look at the visitor center, tan with a red roof, we did the same with our tiger building, the lion building. Um, it's all modeled after that centennial building. And with that, we have reached the west end of our Amur Tiger River Valley habitat. I'm gonna go for one more walk. I'll be steady and quiet and just enjoy this beautiful Amur Tiger Habitat that we built together. This was a community effort at the Roosevelt Park Zoo. Now I'm gonna go ahead and acknowledge the tiger in the room. There's a series out there that I know a lot of people are watching while we're social distancing. If you have questions, please ask. We're an open book. We are happy to answer any questions, concerns, anything you're curious about, please let us know. We are happy to talk to you about it. The Association of Zoos and Aquariums and the Roosevelt Park Zoo stand for making connections between people and wildlife. The wild is not as wild as it once was, and the only way we can save it is by making connections. So until next time, I'm Jungle Jen, and I invite all of you to come fall in love at the Roosevelt Park Zoo.